Hi, it's Brian Lake back with yet another disappointing movie review. You search the YouTube, search the internet, you're gonna find most people are falling over their fannies praising Rogue One, a Star Wars story or who cares what they're gonna call it. I call it Crap One. Gareth Edwards sucks. There's just no other way to say it. His movies are horrible. And this one is two-thirds and one-third a bit of action, zero tension because we know how it's going to end. And I am glad that they all died. That was one a big concern. I'm glad there's no Mary Sue 2.0 and they all die at the end. I was really concerned. There were all kinds of theories. Are, are these the Knights of Wren and all this other nonsense? And hopefully it's complete nonsense and it's just a bunch of people trolling for, for views. But this movie is not very good. I gave it a 6 out of 10. Now, granted, last year when I did my Force Awakens review, I gave it a 7 out of 10. And that's because I was still in so much shock. It quickly went down to a 2 in my book. So, where does Rogue One fit? Well, I've been struggling to decide, is it better than The Phantom Fungus or is it worse? I think it's slightly better. So we have The Force Awakens is like a negative infinity. It is so horrible, so bad on every level, every aspect. The music, the shots, the, the action, the special effects, the story, the characters, the character development. There isn't anything good. There's nothing that you can say about The Force Awakens that is good. Jar Jar Abrams is a terrible act uh, director, and we see this again. Daisy Ridley is a horrible actress. <gasps> You know, just watch all the time she gets surprised or horrified. It's the same reaction every time. Her eyes get bigger and her mouth's open. And she runs around with big eyes and her mouth open almost the entire time. So it's amazing. What they did with Finn was such a stereotypical black character. It's such a stereotype. It's like a slap back to the 70s. It's like it wants to be a black exploitation movie. It wants to this. But hey, I talked about The Force Awakens a year ago. It is total, total horse crap. And Rogue One is slightly better. I, I, I kin this to Rogue One being like Windows 98. Windows 95 was horrible. By the time Windows 95 had rolled out years ago, I had already moved on to Windows NT, first 3.5 and then 4. And Windows 98 was it's just DOS with a fancy shell. And so it was Windows ME was even worse. But that was the thing that they, I mean, even Microsoft's unofficial slogan was, it sucks less. Well, you know, horrible. So I would put, you know, Force Awakens is the absolute worst. We have... Uh, the Phantom Menace as the next worst, and then Rogue One, I'd put it right there. Uh, I mean, you have, yes, people were, were glad to see Darth Vader doing all kinds of things in the hallway and killing all kinds of people. Spoiler alert! And he doesn't do that ever. In any of the movies, he is not like that. He is more calculating when he has to fight. He's extremely careful with his movements. Uh, however, however, I will say this. That is the Darth Vader I wanted to see in Episode 3. I believed that in Episode 2 is when he should have been transferring to Vader. He should have killed Darth Maul. We should not have had uh, the other, the other, whatever, the other actor was. Um, you know, Christopher Lee is a good actor, but he should, that character should not have existed. He should have killed Darth Maul. They should have had an argument about halfway through the movies when Darth Maul should have died. And he should have been really transforming to the dark side then. He should have been really animated and, and, and angry. And then, so I think Darth Maul should have killed his mother. I think that would have been even better motivation. And then he and Kenobi have their fight. End of, at the very end of episode two, he's in the suit. And episode three is when he starts killing off all the Jedi. And it is a bloodbath between him and the clones, just going at it, killing off Jedi, uh, putting the fear of Vader into everybody's heart so that when you get to uh, Star Wars Episode 4, uh, four I, mean, I know it's called A New Hope, but in my mind, in 77, it's called Star Wars, and that's the way I remember it. Then you would have known why people were afraid of him, because some of the people weren't afraid of him. Leia, Leia's not a, a, afraid of him. You have Tarkin kind of back-talking him. You have other people back-talking him in the Empire. I know he does force chokes and things here and there, but there are other people that stand up to him. So that kind of Vader, not to that extreme, but something like that in Episode 3 would have been nice. But we see this, it's almost like they took the Battlefront Star Wars game and they gave it a bit of a storyline, and that was the movie. And all the CGI look horrible. Uh, ships don't 
uh, react properly because there's no actual physics when you're not using models. It's all CGI. I do like some of the practical effects that they did on the ground with people. And it was nice to see that the walkers, the AT, -AT walkers and ATSTs and, and things that were, weren't quite developed. So to get stronger armor, so in Empire, it kind of makes sense. Hey, we already know how to take these down. They start shooting and like, oh, wait a minute. This isn't going to work this time. We need a better way of doing this. So that's nice. So I, I, to me, this is just horrible. And if this is the way Disney Wars is going to go, I'm not going to see another Star Wars movie as long as Disney owns it. I mean, Jar Jar Abrams is a complete joke. He, he completely screwed up Star Trek. He's completely screwed up Star Wars going forward. There's all kinds of rumors that the next one's like a shadow of Empire and Finn and Poe are the are the love interests. And, and I hope that's all rumor and I hope it's all garbage. Because uh, I actually believe that Finn is the Force Awakening and the Force Awakens. And I think uh, Rey is going to end up being evil. Whether or not, you know, Darth uh, Emo switches sides or just gets killed, I think he's, I believe he's going to get killed by Finn. Finn's going to end up being the one who... Um, gets the gets the training, and then in the third one of that trilogy, he takes down Ray. But that's only my that's my thoughts. So I'd like to see that, but I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, there's too much uh, against the women in that one. So and be killed by a black guy that, that would just SJWs would just go absolutely crazy if that were to happen. And I don't think Kathleen Kennedy has an inner to actually make a good movie uh, and go to a story. So she's so out to destroy Lucas that who knows. But anyway, this is not about those. This is about Rogue One. I thought it was horrible. The music was horrible. Cinematically, it was near nice. But overall, complete and total garbage. Complete waste of time. I should have waited until it was uh, on a torrent somewhere. And, and that way, Darth Disney doesn't get there. Darth Mickey doesn't get my money yet again. Um... Most of this movie is to sell more toys and more merchandising, and that's where they'll make the money off of it. It's just more cash grab by Disney, and I think it absolutely sucks, and it really is a fan disservice, and they really need to come out with a good movie that is not tied in nostalgia, that moves the stories forward. No Ben Kenobi movie, no Han Solo movie. Forget all that. Move forward. Propel the universe forward. Set up the next 12 movies or something. Give us a good story. Give us good actors. And just quit making it about pew pew and explosions because Star Wars is about far more than that. But Disney would have to go against their own narrative to make that happen. And so, up yours, Disney. You can go pound sand. You're not getting my money ever again. Bye.